Wow. Yeah, that is a long time. And, well, that's cool, then. Well, because, you know, you remember when we did that, uh, the show, The uh, Weekly Explosion? The radio show, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that and then I haven't, ta- I haven't really talked to you since. I don't know why. I don't know why we didn't continue with it, but... I don't either. I think maybe we got busy or something, or then, you know, people lose touch. But that's good. All right. Well, this is awesome. Yeah. So, let's get started, and what we're going to do... This is not really an interview because since I've chatted with you before and, uh, and since we, we've done a lot, this is just an updated kind of conversation, more or less. Uh, like okay. like like me being updated with you, what you've been up to, and you know since the last time we spoke, and I'm sure you got a lot of stories to tell. So, okay. So I'm gonna do a little quick introduction and then we'll just kind of start. Hey everybody, this is Frankie Slauson here for Frankie Slauson Show right here on YouTube. And I got a, a buddy of mine who, uh, if you guys remember a long time ago, I don't know how many of you guys remember, but I, I posted an old podcast a long time ago, probably about a year ago on my channel here, of a, of a podcast called The Weekly Explosion Show. Well, that wasn't really a weekly show it was supposed to be, but it never really was. And we only shot six episodes. It was uh, myself and uh, the person I'm chatting with it right now, uh, Mike Massey from Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, and I did a, a show... But didn't last that long, but uh, he was a good friend of mine anyway, and, uh, well, hey, what's up, Mike? Hey, how you doing, Mike? <laughs> I'm doing all right. How are things where you live? <clears throat> oh, they're going, they're doing all right, you know, I mean, a little, a little bit better than I thought they'd be, but uh, they're doing okay. Have you got any snow yet? Yeah, we got a little bit. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a big storm uh, that uh, caused us to lose power for almost... Almost a whole day. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a dead. <laughs> How much snow do you usually get most of this time of year? Uh, right now, normally hardly anything. Maybe a couple oh, inches, okay. but nothing that'll stay on the ground until like later on, like another month or so. Awesome. Last year, we didn't get snow that actually didn't stay on the ground until the New Year's Eve weekend. I gotta come there and see you one day. Maybe we can get some money together or something. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, you never know. You just never know. I, uh, yeah, because I, I was thinking about that, you know, if I ever did go on another vacation somewhere, because I, I recently went back to, or, uh, uh, since the last time I've chatted with you, I've been to Astoria, Oregon twice. Oh, wow. We to Raleigh. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to come to Raleigh. I mean, I, because I, I know you still live there and everything. Yep, yep. Good city. It's a good city. So, yeah. So if you want an update of what's been happening, Yeah. If you could give the the audience uh, an update of kind of who you are, what you do, and uh, what the hell you've been up to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, you know, I did the TV show called Mikey's Adventures. It's kind of a reality show and kind of going from place to place. And, you know, the, the taglines, you never know where you're going to go and what I'm going to be doing or who I'm going to be talking to. Kind of like you, kind of with a show like you do, except... Except, you know, TV, so... Except more people actually people watch it, probably. Or more people actually <laughs> watch you than they do me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it comes on cable access here in Raleigh, and it's, uh, I have a website, mikeysadventures.com, that they can go on, log on, and see, see some clips from the show and that kind of thing. And I'm really big right now. For some reason, I was telling my girlfriend, I'm really big in, uh, in, in England, Overseas for some odd Oh, really? <laughs> I guess they only be a crazy American. <laughs> yeah, a crazy American. I don't <laughs> from the South. Jeez. <laughs> where did you crazy hear where? Southern people. So I don't know. okay, so where did you hear that you were big in, in London? Somebody just told you that hey, the ratings are going through the roof or something or, or Yeah, what? yeah. My people, you know, told me that it was going. Plus, they they keep an eye on YouTube. Um, you know, the statistics that you can look at and stuff and tell where your show is being seen. And okay, who's yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching. And who's watching and that kind of thing. So, <clears throat> Philippines and all Australia, people love it over there for some reason. Here, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as big over here as it is over there. I don't know. Who knows? That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. It is crazy. That's insane, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I had uh, done briefly, I had done uh, some stuff.
up in New Jersey. I worked for uh, Kings Island singing and dancing there. And then I went from there to Ohio, uh, Kings Island. Jeez. And did, you know, the steam parks kind of deal. Um, I had done singing and dancing there and kind of traveled a little bit here and there. And now I'm back in Raleigh for a little bit. Iron Man had, uh, I'd done a, a bit for Iron Man is just coming out. Um, it's kind of a small part. Oh, for for Iron Man. Now, are you talking the Iron Man movie, or are you talking like what are you talking about? Uh, the movie with Mark, uh, with uh, Robert Downey Jr. Okay. That's kind of is currently being filmed now. Oh, so you got a small part in that? Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah, it'll be good. It's gonna be a good <laughs> thing. I think it's come. I think it's coming out this summer. So look for that. Yeah. What part do you play? Yeah. It's, it's a very small, one of the bad guys. It's not really a, a speaking role of, of sorts, but it's, maybe I'll get some face time and knows if I don't wind up on a cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll be a bonus feature. You'll be a deleted scene. <laughs> yeah, exactly, deleted, exactly, deleted scene. That's awesome. So how 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 did you get on? Yeah, you know, that's kind of big news though. I, I even I didn't know that you were doing that. Uh, how did you uh, how did you land that role? Just auditioned for it. You know they were looking for some people types. You know they, that's all about. You know the activism that you know is all about. You know a look. And if they're looking for that certain look, that's what they go with. Uh huh. And um, so did did you get to agent. did you get to actually work with Robert Downey Jr. or or how'd that work? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I had seen him. I had seen him on the set. He was nice. He, he seemed to be a really nice guy. Jeez. From what I could tell. Yeah. You gotta have yeah, him on your show. You gotta have him on your show. <laughs> I should. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Who knows? Then the ratings would go through the roof. Like <laughs> huh? Wow. <laughs> well, that's cool. Jeez, I did not know that. That's that's big time stuff because that's you know everybody knows Iron Man and. I, I just watched the the Avengers not too long ago uh, when it was in theaters uh, with my buddy and I when we went to Astoria, Oregon. In the, uh, we saw it in the theaters in 3D, the Avengers movie. Right. Yeah. I, had, I had just finished up another, it was, this has been a little bit, this has been about a year ago, Dogs of Chinatown, okay. which um, no, big, no big stars are in it. It's more of an independent sure. uh, feature. Um, I played uh, Benny, who was a uh, drug lord and owned this um, this club, this bar, and he's he's kind of from New York. So I had to get an Italian, you know, New York accent going on. You know, all the <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> an, an Italian <laughs> Southern guy, boy. That you, boy, you can yeah, do all roles. Exactly. <laughs> I had here, I had to dye my hair dark. And, uh, you know. Yeah. So it was fun. It's like one of those karate films, you know. Oh, sure. Wow. That's cool. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's uh, that's a lot to be proud of. I mean, because I know, because, you know, I've been following you a lot. You know, you know, we became friends on Facebook and all that, too. But, like, got to know what you're doing kind of behind the scenes here and there. But, yeah, I mean, these blew me away from the, with the Iron Man stuff. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you yeah, blow everybody I mean, else away, you know, too. I enjoy it, and you know, that that's kind of what I do. It's kind of, in life, I'm kind of a square <laughs> peg in a round hole. So I don't really fit except, oh. you know, doing acting and theater and all that kind of good stuff. So. Well, what, what a lot of people don't realize, too, is that uh, you and I, we did, not only did we do, do that show called The Weekly Explosion, but a long time ago, when we first kind of met, I mean, I did an interview with you a long time ago, back in 2006, but then we got we got to be pretty good friends, even though we've never met. But we got to be pretty good friends, and we did a show on the radio show. We did like a uh, a, a version of the Mikey's Adventures sh audio show, anyway, on the radio. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, I sure do. That was good times. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, so that was. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, always always welcome for new ideas. But I remember we did so well on that show. But there was a there was a person I'm not going to name who it was that uh, wow. didn't like the show because he's no longer the uh, station manager. He got fired, you know, a couple months or he got fired maybe three years later because of uh, they said because of uh, 
of uh, budget cuts, but I I know the real reason why he got fired, but I won't go into that. But anyway, I wonder why. You can't tell me. Well, I I can tell you, but I, I don't know if I want to tell the, you know just in case because he's friends with me on Facebook too, and I don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If I mention oh, okay. the name, I don't want to really mention names. I just, you know, I just want to. We we know who he is. <laughs> you you remember who he was? I'll tell you later. Remember the station oh, wow. manager? Remember the station manager, the radio station that I worked at, who kind of yeah. was not really. He wasn't really giving me much credit at all because I couldn't really do much on the radio because of him. Yeah. Why? He sh- he tried shutting down our show. Yeah, that guy. Okay, yeah. I'll, 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 well, I'll let you know after the interview. <laughs> hey, yeah, let me know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, anyway, so, uh, let's see, what what can I say? So, uh, how are some of the people that you used to, I don't know if you're still buddies with Ormond Grimsby or uh, Timmy D. Or... Yeah, I see Ormond. Yeah, okay. I see Ormond every now and then. I haven't seen him in a while. He did a Halloween thing here in Raleigh. Um, they had bands, and then they had the music magicians and all that kind of stuff and he's kind of the host for that so he's kind of he's still doing his thing although he's not on, he doesn't do as much as he used to okay um but he's still you know he's big in the halloween so that's when he popped in and oh yeah in. good old good old ormond grimsby i remember doing the interview with him too that was a uh, that was pretty cool you know because he, he got have you talked to him lately i uh, no, i haven't really i don't think i've spoken to him probably as long as i haven't spoken to you Oh wow! I know we're friend. He and I are friends on Facebook too, but I, I haven't said much to so. him. Wow! So yeah. How about cool. uh, how about Timmy D? Are you still good friends with him? Who was that? Timmy T- D. Yeah. You know Timmy D moved to Atlanta, so he's he's in Atlanta, Georgia now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, he said he was at that wrestling pay per view last night, Hell in a Cell. That's right. He's he's doing wrestling in Atlanta now. Uh huh. Seeing wrestling. Wrestling and that kind of good stuff. So, so you guys don't speak I anymore. I talked huh? to him last month. He's okay. doing pretty good. Okay. I don't get to see him. Okay. So he doesn't do yeah. the he doesn't do his show anymore on your at Raleigh anymore like he used to. No. Uh-huh. Okay. Nope. Huh. He's trying to get a show started in Atlanta on their on their cable access. So you know, stay tuned for that one. Who knows? He may, he may pop up again one day. And one other thing that I was pretty proud of that you uh, hooked me up with, which uh, all the interviews that I did, I, I still remember doing this interview. Uh, Mike here uh, knew uh, Randy Jones of the Village People. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that was a cool interview. I, I listened yeah. to that interview. And, and also you did um, hook up with uh, the guy and we'll talk to him on my TV show. What was his name? Ned Davy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of where, where the whole idea of interviews kind of started for me, anyway. So I bought it because Ned lived around the area, lived where I live, kind of, sort of. Is he still there? Do you know? I don't know. I haven't seen him. It's been over a year since I've seen him, so I assume he still comes up for summer times, but it's not summertime anymore, so I'm sure he's back in Kentucky or wherever he lives. You know, he's a good character actor. He's been in a lot of movies, like Superman and... Yeah, he, uh, the last big thing that I knew that he did was, uh, uh, the role in, uh, Toy Story 3 as the bear. Oh, was he in that? Yep. He was, he was, uh, what did he... oh, what did he play? Uh, he played, uh, geez, now I forget the character name, but he played the, the, the bad guy bear. You know, the bear that was oh, in the, wow. in the head leader of the, uh, uh, of the toys in the, in the, the toy shop or, or whatever it was, uh, uh daycare center. But I forget his yeah, name. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I got a chance to um, do security work for some of the high-profile people, like uh, at one time Michael Jackson, oh, um, security for uh, Aerosmith, uh, NSYNC when they were really popular, Backstreet Boys and that kind of thing. So. How long did you do security for? It was, yeah, it was for a good two, two or three Two or three years. Oh, okay. And I had travel with them for a bit. Yeah, yeah. They're all good people. You know what I mean? Yeah. The bigger the star, it seems like the nicer they are. When that there has been actors tend to be, or the actors that hadn't made it big yet tend to be kind sure. of arrogant. But yeah, the ones that think that they're better, they that think their shit don't stick or whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> or something right, like that. You know, yeah. Yeah, they're just people 
people like everybody else, you know. That's the way they make a living. It's, you know, the touring is, the most, is probably the worst part of the whole thing. I mean, you know, when you're actually performing in front of people, it's great. But once, you know, you leave the stage, of course, you know, you're tired. You go from city to city to city to city. You don't really get to see anything. Sure, yeah. I mean, it all starts to kind of look, look the same after a while. So. Huh. Oh. That's what Michael said at one time. Michael said that he hated the tour. Oh, yeah. He loved performing, but he didn't like the whole... And he, he had trouble sleeping um, when he was touring like that, you know. Oh, I'm sure. And I think that's why he got addicted to all this prescription medication and propofol, which, he, you know, propofol he was doing since the 90s, so it wasn't anything new, you know. But were you surprised Were you surprised when, he, when you got the news that he died? I was, well, I was, no, not really. And the people that were close to him probably didn't want to really be shocked either, you know what I mean? Uh, because he was so frail. And he'd come in, you know, he'd be kind of half out of it. And, you know, couldn't get through some of the numbers. And huh. I don't really don't know how he would have done the 50 dates that he'd sign on to do. Yeah, I don't know. I, I Maybe that was a kind of a mistake, more or less, but... Maybe he actually thought, because did you see the This Is It for a DVD? Yeah, yeah. And, may, you know, maybe he thought he's, he had one last run at him, you know? Yeah, maybe. But, but we'll never know now. Together, if you watch it, he, he wears a different outfit in, in every song, so they didn't, he didn't, I don't think he could get through one song. I think they had to edit it to make it look like he had gotten through the whole set. You know yeah. what I mean? Was that or is that why you have to do that in the first place? Because, I mean, what's it more about? what The way you look or the way you perform? <laughs> oh, right, right, image, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about image. So who is your favorite um, performer or singer? Oh, well, I'm kind of old school. I mean, I'm, t I'm 29 years old now, and I, I, I grew up liking the likes of Buddy Holly and Roy Orbison and Del Shannon. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, I'm old school, you know. That's all right. That's all right. There, I mean, there were, I mean, there's a lot of talent. Now, you know, singers, I don't know, people might disagree, but they're not as, I don't think they're as talented as they used to be, you know. Yeah, I don't think they put as much effort into what they do. No, they don't. They really don't. You know, you had to be a showman at one point. Now, you know, people get singers, but then they're not, they don't have any stage presence in them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to have the whole package, and now I don't think it's like that anymore. Now you know? everybody wants to be a Justin Bieber, and I don't know. I still wonder how the hell he got all famous. I mean, I know I, how I, he did, but I mean, it just—it's like how could this kid, kid just get go from rags to riches, you know, overnight, so to speak? I wonder if it's just luck. A lot of it has to do with luck. I know he started on YouTube, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So. I don't know how. And how do people get millions of hits like that? That's another mystery. That, yeah, I mean, because, <laughs> you know, I tell you what there, Mike, you know, I've been you, doing YouTube for over four years. I'm on my fifth season now. That's why I'm doing all these interviews to make it so special and everything. And yet, I only have 1,600 subscribers. When I know people that have way more than that, like 40,000 or maybe over a million, and yet, I do... I take a lot of pride in my work like a lot of people do, and I'm one of those people that wish I could be the next Justin Bieber, no matter what people tell me. But yet, I'm not getting hardly any views at all from even these interviews, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's quite a number there. I mean, you're, you're doing good. Well, 1,600 subscribers would sound like a lot of numbers, or a big number, if that's how many people watch my videos, if that's how many people commented and, and, and rated it and subscribed it and everything. I only get probably, on average, probably less than 100 or 200 views per video, or right. maybe three or four comments, you know, I, that's all I get, and I'm not trying to let tell people, oh, you know, feel sorry for me, I'm trying to provide them with excellent, excellent uh, uh, pieces of work here, and yet, I still, still nothing, you know. <laughs> Right, we just keep going. You're my oh yeah, I mean, I I love I love it. I mean, I love doing this, and I, you know, doing interviews and, and just chatting with people. And I'm trying to do something different with my format. You know, trying to be more of an entertainer than just a a piss poor YouTuber. <laughs> right, right. 
<laughs> you know. So, uh, so I'm going to ask you one more, one last question, and I and I ask this to, to people uh, every time I do an interview with them, uh, since they're a part of the entertainment industry. Uh, since you're an actor, and since you've been doing acting for a while, what advice would you give to somebody who would like to be an actor who's just starting today? I think just just start do everything, any and everything that you can do, whether it's theater. Good, great actors come from theater, though. You know, if, sure. you, if you can, uh, if you can pull off theater, you can do about anything. So just take everything you can get, and and you know, do the acting classes. You know, a little bit here and there. I mean, it depends on how much money you have for that. But more than that, it's just it's just um, it's just doing the work and and on the job training kind of thing. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, don't be afraid. Or don't think that you're too good to do whatever it takes to to do what you have to do. Yeah. You know, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. And don't go into it thinking you're going to make a gazillion dollars. <laughs> you go into the business thinking you're going to make a lot of money. Yeah. You know. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> do it because you love to do it. Yeah. You know, because you love the work, not because of money. You know, the money will come. But do it because you know it's in your blood, and that and that's why I do it. I don't do it because I made a lot of money. I do it because I love to do it. And one other, I guess, one, one bonus question, I guess, that just popped up in my head: Who are some of your inspirations when it comes to the acting? Who inspired you to to do what you do? Um, I love Robert De Niro's work. Um, um, Al Pacino, like the old school actors, Al Pacino. Um, who were method actors, you know, and, yep. uh, and uh, let me think, who else? Um, well, there's a gazillion of them. <laughs> yeah. Roy Scheider was good, and he went with Roy Scheider from Jaws, who played T. Brady. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was good. He was in Sequest. Uh, well. was good. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Well, I mean that's still that's still you know a good amount of people. I mean they're the ones that inspire you to get into the acting biz rather than be a a grocery worker or a, a factory worker or whatever you know. Yeah, and I you know and I enjoy it and I enjoy it you know I like it. Justin Hoffman was good too. All right, well, thanks Mike for uh, let me do this little updated uh, chat with you. Uh, it's, right. it's nice to. It's nice uh, to to see what you've been up to and hear your stories. And I wish I could talk to you for hours upon hours, you know. But <laughs> my camera here can't won't hold that much information. So. <laughs> well, all right. Well, thanks for having me on. Yeah, and uh, check out. Uh, you know, you want to let people know your Facebook or your uh, YouTube or your oh, yeah. any websites at all? Um, there's several. There's MikeysAdventures dot com. They can go to that and see some of my video clips. Um, check my page out, Mike. Michael Reed Massey on Facebook, um, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-R-E-I-D-M-A-S-S-E-Y on Facebook, um, okay. and friend me, and all all right. the only friends I can get. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, help this guy become a star. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike, thanks again, and uh, uh, you have yourself a great day. All right, you too, Mike.